Dream a little dream of me. Welcome Kinjas, it's Jessica the Story Witch and I wasn't going to film a video today but then the postman came. <laughs> it's witch casket time. This one was a little tiny bit delayed because they were waiting for a special item which was going to be included so I'm really excited to open the box and see what's inside. I'll just turn the camera around and then we'll get it open. So here we go. I always don't slip these things and then I think I should definitely done that beforehand. <laughs> oh my gosh, straight away I can smell lavender and it is pink. <laughs> I'm learning now as I get these witch caskets that they are kind of colour themed as well as having an overall theme with this one. We hope you love your July witch casket. We really love putting this one together. July focuses on psychic abilities and the third eye and we hope that the contents will inspire you all to use your intuition and enhance your natural abilities. Please remember to read the enclosed list of contents so you can familiarise yourself with this month's items and our specially selected suppliers. Your social media posts last month were stunning. We can't thank you enough for your beautiful creative posts. And if you don't follow them on Instagram, then you should because they, they post loads of really cool photos and they do lots of like regramming of people's photos who subscribe to the box as well. So I always think that is pretty cool. Their feed is really, really gorgeous. So I'm not going to read the list of contents as usual. I'm going to pop it to one side. <laughs> because I like it to be a surprise. I hope the light is okay. Let me try and get a little bit more light on the subject. That might just crash down again. <laughs> Hopefully not. So pink. What have we here? Oh wow, look at this. So every box has a print, usually from Tea Cake Art, which I'll have a quick peek at the list of contents. No, I won't because it's going to spoil it. So I'm going to look at after to see who it is who wrote that, who, not wrote it, who created this. And it almost looks like a tarot card, doesn't it? The way it's kind of laid out like this. And the witch sometimes in some decks is the high priestess. Yeah, interesting. We've got like the, the moon and then this, another moon kind of coming up out of the water. So it's that kind of unconscious subconscious thing which definitely ties into what they said the theme of the box is which is psychic abilities and talents so yeah that's really cool and pop that there and there's a oh an unlocking the third eye ritual kit they do always have as well these little like kind of packs which have whole spell kits in them basically so i'm going to pop that to one side i will open that in a moment but i'm going to go through the rest of the box first Backflow incense. Okay, let's have a smell. Oh wow, okay, so the combs. That's a really strange smell actually. I wonder what that is actually made out of. We will have a look in the contents once we've looked at everything else. And Cinnamon essential oil, which I love, but you do have to be really, really careful with cinnamon if you get it on your skin. It really, like, obviously, all undiluted essential oils have got the potential to be dangerous, but some of them are actually not that much of a big deal. But cinnamon really is a big deal. <laughs> if you get that on you, you know about it. And lavender, that's what I could smell. Lavender loose leaf tea, and that packet smells amazing. That smells amazing, amazing. What have you got here? A little pin badge eye. Wow, that is so cool. <laughs> Look at that. I'm going to try and bring it up to the camera so you can actually see it properly. That is really cool. There's very often a pin badge in there as well, which is nice. And so much stuff. Okay, so this is a little uh, crystal cage and necklace so that you can put in different crystals. And there are some different stones in here too. What have we 
got so we've got some amethyst, some obsidian, it looks like some citrine, some quartz, turquoise, jade perhaps, and I think some milky quartz maybe. I'll look at what they are in case I've identified them incorrectly. It probably says in here actually, doesn't it? Along with the the cage and the pendant. Oh yeah, so it's got all of them in there. So we've got citrine, green aventurine. Okay, so the green is aventurine. Uh, howlite. Oh, so the blue stone is howlite. I told you a little bit about them. Amethyst. Uh, rock quartz, which is that one. So I thought it was milky quartz. Maybe it's just a different name for it. And obsidian, yeah. So it was the how it was just the howlite and the aventurine that I got muddled up. And it tells you in this little thing little bits about the crystals and also what they are good for, which is pretty cool. So it's got um, black obsidian, a powerful stone that enhances creativity and self-control. It releases negative um, energies and helps. Well, I should put my glasses on. <laughs> And help carrier to find one's true self. It is a particularly like arty font, so it's a bit tricky to read. <laughs> but yeah, that is a really cool little set. I do have quite a few of these already, but they're always handy. I quite like to give them as gifts sometimes as well. So that's that's really lovely, especially with the sort of nice sized stones for putting inside there. I'm sometimes like ramming in a stone that is clearly a little bit too large to go in the cage. <laughs> But yes, that is very nice. What else do we have here? So we've got a, a third eye patch too in the triangle, which is really cool as well, because it's got the, you could think of it as the elemental symbol then as well. For water, for that unconscious subconscious. And a sticker. Yeah. With, that's from TK Cart. So that's got the... The different things for palmistry on there you can see the um the symbols for the planets on there because each part of the hand corresponds to different planetary aspects and things as well so that's really cool it's a sticker but also a like a kind of reference point i think i'll be using that in my bullet journal there's something wrapped up which i'm going to come to in a minute here is the little scroll that we have every month let's open that I'm so glad I opened it. I was going to wait until tomorrow and I just thought, no, I just want to open it. Oh, okay, so this is about palmistry. So the scroll is with much more information about palmistry, which is cool. It's something that I have sort of dived in and out of at various points of my life. So, yeah, so I, it's good, actually. It's, it's something that I am keep getting intrigued with. So, yeah, so that's cool. And what is this? I think it's a bag. Yeah, it's like a tote bag. I can't get it far enough away for you to be able to see the top. It's basically like a drawstring tote type bag. It's really handy. With a gorgeous, gorgeous design on it too. That is going to be really handy. And that's what I love about this box as well, is that the things in it are so useful. They're not just like... Obviously, it's nice when you have like altar items and things like that sometimes and sort of decorative things. But a lot of the stuff is useful, which I'm a practical witch. <laughs> I like useful. Useful is good. So let me just have a little dig around. I know I've got this little thing that's still wrapped. So I'm going to pop that out of the way. I think I'll put that tote bag down in the background So because I'm going to lay it all back out on top. I know I haven't opened the spell kit yet, so I will do that. And I will look at the list of content. But I just want to open this. Little thingy bobby, which is also in the pink paper. <laughs> it must take them such a long time to kind of pull these things together. It's really, really nicely done, really well thought out, and really nicely done, yeah. Let's get in here. It's a bit like, oh, there we are. I'm in, I'm in. Okay, just pop that out of the way. What have we got here? 
Oh cool, it's a little incense holder. Oh the light is so crap, I'm sorry. Let me get a bit of paint underneath and see if I can kind of illuminate it up a bit better. So there, so yeah, a little incense burner. Well not burner, yeah, burner I guess, you know, so you can put your incense on it. So that'll be cool for using with the cone incense. Where could this be find here? So I can put some of the darker things on here so they can still be seen. <laughs> so there's the bag and the incense holder with the incense and the sticker and the patch and the eye badge, the loose leaf tea and the witch, I'm running out of space. <laughs> And the scroll, the palmistry scroll, and then the cage with the different gemstones, and the cinnamon essential oil, and then here is the spell kit. So, unlocking the third eye ritual kit. So let's have a little look what's in here. And these kits, like specially made up for the witch caskets, so you won't be able to find these anywhere else. Although they have this month opened their store for if you're a subscriber, they give you like a special secret code that you can go in and buy past things. Oh wow, it's a lavender candle which that smells amazing. Oh my gosh, look at this tiny little key charm. That is so cute. I love keys, I've got a little bit of a key collection going on. I've also got a little bit of a charm collection going on, so <laughs> so that could fit into both of those. <laughs> They're quite handy as well, these sort of charms, for like charm casting, if you get a, a few different charms, you can cast them, and then you just kind of, it's just a different kind of form of, of uh, divination. I might do a video on that at some point, so I should let me know if you think that would be interesting. I know it's a little bit of a slightly strange form of divination for some people now. So, witch casket, opening the third eye, ritual instructions. This ritual is best performed when you're in a peaceful, relaxed state of mind. Take the key and carve an eye into the violet candle. On the other side of the candle, carve your initials. As you do this, repeat the following chant. Things that are hidden, I will now spy. This will unlock my all-seeing eye. This is the key to help me see. As I will it, so mote it be. Place the herb blend, which is here. And I can see star anise, and it looks like little bits of cinnamon bark as well in there. There's a few different things going on in there. Yeah. Place the herb blend on your altar or magical space. These herbs are believed to enhance psychic abilities. Light the candle and close your eyes. As you allow it to burn, notice your third eye opening. Wow, that's a really cool little ritual. And I think I would follow that up probably with, well, definitely with some divination as well. So it would be a really good one to use around the time of the dark moon. So I'm gonna keep that. I was gonna pack it away, but I won't pack it away just yet because I will take a photo of all this stuff uh, once it is all out and around the place. Let's just have a quick look at the list of contents because I didn't say who that picture was by. So which casket exclusive custom cotton bag within the artwork for that is by Alejandra Vindas. The which casket, casket exclusive third eye patch and unlocking the third eye ritual kit which is what we just read about. The palmistry parchment scroll which is really cool. Palmistry sticker and that artwork is by TK Cart. The backflow incense burner and the backflow incense cones. That's a nice little set. The A6 art print, which is this one, and that isn't TK Cart. I did think it didn't quite look her style. It is by Emma Powell Designs. So I'll have to have a look out for her on Instagram too. Lavender loose leaf tea by Tea Cakes of Yorkshire. Make your own crystal necklace, which is that little kit here. And the enamel all seeing eye pin. And the Aden, Eden essential oil. And the one that I have is cinnamon. So perhaps, because it doesn't say cinnamon, maybe different people have different oils. 
All spells and rituals are created by a practicing witch exclusively for Witch Casket. You can visit this month's specially selected suppliers and they've got a list there which I'll hold in case you want to go and um, see, like, chase up any of these people. There. And that is it. How cool is that Witch Casket? I love it. <laughs> a really good mix of kind of like useful stuff that you can use in your everyday life and stuff to use in kind of magical life as well. I have quite a few of the, the caskets do have these um, patches in them which I haven't actually found I've used yet but I'm going to definitely try and dream up a way of, of using them because they are really cool. Thanks so much for watching guys. Warmest, warmest blessings and I will see you very soon. Da, 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 da.